Okay, here we have another project in Paradise as we get ready to change over from a lead acid battery bank for our solar system to lithium ion phosphate. And here we have the 12 volt, 300 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery from Chins. That's the box it arrived in. And it was also encased top to bottom with this nice, thick, heavy-duty plastic foam. And it arrived in just fantastic condition. They also included for free this 14.6 volt, 10 amp charger. And that was a nice little addition there. So I've had this battery for a few days and run it through a few initial tests before I drop it in and replace the lead acid batteries that I've been running for and living on for the past 25 years. So the first thing that I did after it arrived and inspected that everything looked in good order was to check the the voltage that it arrived at and it arrived with a 13.14 voltage which as i understand is just about right so rather than hook it up immediately to the solar system i decided to use the charger that they sent and charge it up slowly and monitor it closely to see how it performs It took me a couple of days uh, to figure out how it was doing, and that was only just because of some time constraints I had here. But the first day of charging, starting at 13.14, I hooked the ch charger up and ran it only for about four hours. And I was able to get it up to 13.38 volts with the running charge, and then had to discontinue. Uh, the next morning, when I started it up again, it had settled down to 13.18. So on the second day of charging, I was able to run it for 12 hours. And it was slow, as you might guess, in the beginning. And for an example, uh, once it reached 13.5, to go to 13.51 took a full hour and it went like that throughout the course of the day until it reached 13.7 and then from 13.7 it went up very quickly to 14.28 before the charger that it came with turned green and indicated that it was fully charged And as you can see on the charger that it came with, the LED one comes on red and indicates that it's on. And then the LED two while charging also stays red until it reaches a full charge and then it turns green. Now I monitored this very closely throughout its charging process because I wanted to have an indication of how fast lithium ion charges up because this is a new chemistry for me. I'm used to the old ways of monitoring lead acid and I could do that in my sleep. But since this is new, I monitored it extremely closely. Like, I mean, every few minutes I was getting up and putting a voltmeter on things to see what it was doing. And like I said, for hours, it just didn't hardly budge, but it was obviously still charging. So after reaching the full charge, which I'll remind you when it shut off, it was exactly 14.28 volts when the charger indicated it was full. So I went ahead and disconnected everything and then watched it for the next couple of days to see how it held that charge. When I got up the next morning, it had settled down to approximately 13.6 volts and then I let it set even another 24 hours 
and it settled in at about 13.55. And so now it's been at rest for 48 hours and currently reached 13.53. So I feel confident now of dropping it in and starting to use it and setting up the parameters on the charge controller. So just to go over a couple other little things on this, it came with really nice, you know, very strong handles on both sides. So it's easily picked up and moved. Weighs in just over 67 pounds, which is considerably lighter than lead acid, as you all know. So my initial impressions of this are... Uh, pretty good right now. I'm very anxious to get it charged up, let the sun start doing its thing off the solar panels. I'm going to pump about a 500 watt uh, solar system into this battery and I'm going to be using an EP Ever 40 amp charge controller and set my own parameters. I've done a lot of research on this online and watching other people's videos on YouTube and pretty much everybody has their own specific parameters they like to work within for lithium ion phosphate. And it's, since it's going to be a, an experiment for me to get used to this, I'm going to go a little bit under. And since it did shut the charger off at 14.28 volts, I'm thinking that that's a good top end for me on setting my charge controller and then float down at about 13.5. Now I will say that I contacted Chins uh, several times over the course of uh, prior to purchasing this unit and since purchasing this unit to get some of their recommendations and what they actually want. And they, they recommend 14.6 volt as your uh, basically your bulk charge and 13.8 for float. Uh, and then I've listened to a lot of other people that say maybe just under that if you want to extend the life of your battery. And this battery is supposed to last at least 10 years under good care. So it's all an experiment from here on and I will keep you posted and show you in the next video how I drop this in and set the parameters and initial impressions upon using it. And since I am new to this technology, if any of you have any suggestions or experience working with this particular battery, I'd be interested in hearing your comments below. And of course, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me so you can catch my next one. But I'm going to run a short series of videos specifically on this particular unit and how it's working for me. And I look forward to posting the next results that I see on this. But so far, initial impressions are good. And like I said, Chin's has been very, very quick to respond. I've had maybe a half a dozen correspondences back and forth with them. They're real quick, real good, real attentive. So all in all, so far, so good. Looking forward to seeing how the rest of it goes. All right. I will catch you all on the next one. Aloha.